Hey, what's up YouTube? Math and Gold Bros. Come to you guys with a different kind of video today. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about these Adidas Boost Icon 2s. Um, these are Marco's cleats, and um, I'm going to be starting a new series. Let me know if you guys do enjoy this from this first video. And it's going to be uh, like a truth video, like really being extremely honest about uh, products and stuff like that. Um, these are mostly going to be negative, unfortunately. Um, more to warn you guys to not purchase this product and don't make the same mistakes that we did. And uh, we'll definitely get into the reasons why during the video. So this first video, I'm going to be talking about Marco's um, Adidas Boost Icon 2s. Uh, as you guys can tell, these are extremely worn down and... You know, with the crazy part is, I'm going to tell you guys, you know, you can believe it or not. These cleats were used in 25 games. I, it's so hard to believe that cleats can be this worn after 25 games of use by a kid who gets a pinch runner. How? You pitched with these twice and they're just absolutely beat to crap after, you know, 25 games. And I would say he maybe wore them twice a week. You know, he has practice cleats, so he just wore them during games. And he has, like, rainy day cleats. They're the same thing as practice cleats. So these really got, like, 25, you know, maybe worn 30 times total, you know, between a practice here, a walk through there, stuff like that. And these are absolutely shredded. And don't get me wrong, we knew going into this what white cleats turned into. That's not my issue. This will come clean. The issue is the ripping, the tearing over here, the the bottoms, you know, we knew they were going to fade, but this seems, you know, ridiculous. The nubs are already super low on the, the cleats. You could tell that they're, you know, worn down very quickly and these really don't get much walk on concrete because you don't, you guys don't walk on concrete. You have a path to walk you right out to the field. And this honestly is extremely disappointing from a brand like Adidas, who is a big top brand. They've been making really good products for a while. You know, they've made some mega deals lately, signing Carlos Correa, uh, Chris Bryant. You know, some of the guy, some of the top pros in the game. They're stepping up their other shoe games, obviously with the Yeezys, the Ultra Boost, which I had full intention of getting a pair of soon. I wanted the white on white on white Ultra Boost. I had full intention of getting them. I don't think I'm going to be ordering them now due to the fact that these wore so terribly so quickly. And don't get me wrong, um, Mark will be the first person to tell you these are comfortable cleats. And that's not my issue here. My issue is spending $100 on cleats that are going to last a season because this is shredded to absolute crap. These are barely usable right now. And, I mean, you're talking $100 for a season, you know, Barely being able to get through summer ball with these, that's too much for me. That's not what I'll be, you know, looking forward to um, next year when I'm looking for cleats or something like that or whenever you guys are looking to buy cleats. This is a low point for Adidas. This is, a this is I don't know if we got a defect pair. I don't know what happened, but this is major, is a mess up. This has never happened on any of his cleats before, anything like that. You know, we're talking... You know, for $100, you can buy any cleat in the game, really. There's no real cleats that are over 120 you know, but similar to this price range. And I'm extremely disappointed with Adidas. I, you know, I hope somebody sees this from Adidas and tries to correct it because I don't want to shy away from you guys. You guys make a good product, but this is crap, and I'm not happy at all. The laces are, you know, feel like crap. The stitching on the inside, you know, you could feel it coming, you know, loose on these tabs in here. It's This just wasn't a great transaction overall. Definitely not happy with it. Hopefully something, you know, changes in the future. Because the cleats that they produce are absolute fire. I mean, the Boost Icon 3s just came out today. Um, what pros wear posted it. I don't know if they're out to the public yet, but somebody posted something about it. I think they're archers. And... They look great, but this isn't worth a hundred dollars. These these are like forty five dollar cleats, fifty dollar cleats at max. I'd buy for this, you know. It's absolutely um, insanity. So uh, I hope you guys did enjoy this. Let me know if you guys want more of this. I have a couple other products that I do want to talk about in this category, but I'm only gonna post what you guys want to see. So hope you guys did enjoy this. Comment, like, subscribe. Until next time, have a good day.